Well, let's uh, let's review this uh, again um, concept or the germ of an idea that caused you to pursue this service. Well, I think it was when I started to actually try and use the uh, searchable database and uh, found that it wasn't really user-friendly. And the alternative to it is the uh, PDF files that um, people who are digital subscribers to the newspaper access. And you're, you're referring to Mackenzie River Reflections. Mackenzie River yeah, Reflections, right. yeah. We're, we're both a print publication and a digital publication. Mm -hmm. And uh, the people who are now subscribers to the digital version really like it mm -hmm. because um, it's easy to use. And if they want to share an article or a photo with uh, someone else, they can just copy and paste it to an email. Mm -hmm. And um, if they want to look at something closer, they can zoom in on it. So I've been doing those, I guess, since August of uh, last year. So mm -hmm. I've got over a year of current issues on the website. And then I've started to go back in years prior. And there's, um, I think, 85 issues online now. Mm -hmm. So the idea of the news arc is by creating those digital files, we're saving those back issues. So the, Not in a physical form, but in easily accessible form. So the, the arc is an archive. It is, yep, <laughs> okay. of news, of, the news uh, arc. Right, a, a vessel for preservation of, mm -hmm. of old news articles. Well, not, uh, only, uh, not only for preservation of news articles, but it's also, because of the internet, it's going to give the McKenzie area wider exposure and that's part of, you know, community building that we've always been involved in.